The number one social media mistake that real estate agents make when trying to build an online presence is that they spend too much time focusing on short form content. Short form video has something that's been around for years now. There are platforms that came before IG, such as Vine and Dove Smash, that were doing short form content long before it really went popular. It wasn't until TikTok that everyone started to figure out about short form content, and then anyone with a smartphone decided to become a content creator. When Reels came onto the scene, you could record a video and the likelihood that it went viral was a lot higher because they wanted to compete with TikTok. But as more people started to hop on the trend, it started to become overly saturated. Now it's a lot harder to get reached than it once was. You can still get great reach, but it's definitely not as easy as what it used to be when it first came onto the scene. So today we're going to be going over some of the drawbacks of short form video and the burnout that it could lead to, all to answer the question of, is short form content for real estate agents in today's day and age even worth it? But before we start today's video, make sure to hit that like button if you ever felt burnt out from posting on social media. So back in 2022, I was posting about two to three reels a day, virtually every single day, except for maybe on the weekends, for almost two months straight. And I generated close to 700,000 views on Instagram alone. I got tons of likes and vanity metrics, but it wasn't leading to anything that was actually supporting my business. I was just spinning my wheels. I would spend 10, 20, 30 minutes on a 30 second reel every day. And I was doing multiple of them a day. So I had no time to actually focus on my business. And on top of that, the algorithm is constantly changing and there's always new trends, new audios, new features to keep up with. See, now most of the realtors I know are constantly driving around, they're showing people houses, they're writing listing agreements, they're closing deals. And so where on earth would you find the time if you're a busy realtor to keep up with all the short form content changes that's going on? And what's even worse is that Instagram is different from TikTok and TikTok is different from Facebook and Facebook is different from YouTube shorts and all these different platforms have their own algorithms. So now not only are you trying to keep up with all the different changes on one platform, now multiply that by however many platforms that you use and that's when it gets really overwhelming. And then you get paralyzed and you end up not posting any content at all, which is what happened to me. So now you may be wondering, all right, so if short form content isn't the strategy to use, then what is? Long form content is where it's at. There's so many benefits with making long form content. And some of which that I love is that you can actually tell stories. When you're given 30 seconds to deliver an impactful message, there's not much that you can do. But when you're giving more time, then you can get into certain topics at a deeper level and take some of these more complex topics and break it down into something that is simple and easy to digest. Also, a majority of people that watch these long form videos, they're a more qualified lead. Think of it like this. Imagine I'm on Instagram and I'm just scrolling through, scrolling through, scrolling through, and I click on your video and I like it and I follow the call to action just because I got a dopamine hit when I watch your video. On the other hand, imagine I sat down for 10 minutes out of my day and watched your entire video about why buying a home is the best thing to do on the planet, right? And then I reached out to you. That lead will have more rapport with you than the same lead who watched the 30 second video. So that's going to become a much more qualified lead. And don't you want to work with only the most qualified leads instead of spinning your wheels, trying to keep up with all the other leads that are just wasting your time? Last year, I had the opportunity to meet Ken Pozik. He is a real estate titan that's taken over the Orlando market. He is doing over, if I'm not mistaken, $150 million in volume. He created his real estate empire by creating videos on YouTube. With YouTube, you really get an opportunity to showcase your expertise and why you should be their realtor. You also get to showcase your creativity. With one long form video, you can take that and generate tons of clips from it. So from this very video that I'm, you're watching right now, I'm going to put this into Video AI and then Video AI is going to generate anywhere from eight to 12 clips probably for this video. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start off by opening up Google. Once you're on Google, what you're gonna do is you're gonna go into the search bar and type in video dot AI. Now it's spelled V I D Y O dot AI. Now this is how the homepage looks. Video AI does have a free plan that you could use. It also has a paid plan. I'm currently on the paid plan. And if you're interested in paying for video AI, make sure to click the link below. It's an affiliate link and it comes at no cost to you, but helps support the channel. I use them a ton. So I just want to bring you the best software possible. And so you can start on a, on a free plan. I'm already logged in. So when you click on start for free, It'll make you create an account, but since I already created an account, this is what it will look like when you sign in. Alrighty, so this is the home screen. And so what we're gonna do is, we're gonna go on upload file. So you can do this one of two ways. You can get the YouTube link from your video, 
or if you have the raw videos from their files, you can just upload it manually. So we click on choose files. I just uploaded a video. Then we click start import. Boom. Now it gives us the option to choose what format that we want. Of course, because this is a long form video, we want it to clip it into shorter form videos. So we're going to pick portrait, hit continue. Then it allows you to select three templates that you can use for your videos. From there, after you selected at least three, you can then hit continue. And then you could also personalize your video by adding your handle at the bottom. And then you click done and then it'll start uploading for you. This is what it will look like once it's uploaded. So you click on the video here on the home page, review clips. So boom, just like that, I have five clips and now it looks something like this. You may not be able to hear the audio, but here's how it could look. Now imagine this, picture someone putting a USB drive into your best friend. And then within that USB drive, add all the information on the Boom, just like that, you have a short form video that you could use, but then you can actually go a step further. You can actually edit it. So let's say you don't, so let's say you don't like how this looks. You can click here on templates, then go to all templates, and then you could choose from all the different templates. So let's say I like this one better. If you're on the paid plan, you can save a template, and then you could just choose a template that you saved. Then from here, what I would do is I'll go to subtitles. So now you can have the subtitles on the screen. You can play around with the style of it. You can change the color. You can add emojis. You can go on the editor tool over here in the middle. Let's say one of the words is messed up. Here you go to edit it, and then you can go on font setting. You can play around with the font even more, change the font, make it bigger, make it smaller, and then boom. Once you do a little bit of editing, here's what it looks like. Picture someone putting a USB drive into your best friend. And within that USB drive, add all the information on the internet available to you. Now I can just download it to my computer, upload it to my phone, and now I have clips to post everywhere. See, that's why I love long form content. It allows you to create one video and use that one video to generate tons of clips. So my strategy is I create this one video here. And then from here, it'll generate anywhere from five to 12 clips. And then I use the transcript of this video to then also go out to my newsletter. So now I don't even have to write my emails. I could just send out the newsletter with the transcript of this video that I just recorded right in front of you guys. Now, if I wanted to take it a step further, I could also leverage this video to create blog posts with AI. So many different things that you could do from this long form video. And if I really wanted to take it a step further, I could just take the audio of this video and then boom, now I have a podcast. So from one long form video, you can generate so many more clips on so many more platforms and different mediums and for people to consume. It's amazing what you could do when you focus on long form content. But if you're going to focus on long form content, it then rises the question of, John, what platform I should use? So make sure to watch this video right here and I'll share with you the best social media platform for real estate agents.